everyone welcome to my channel i am back with another topic and my today's topic is jainism jainism is considered as one of the most ancient religions of the world the jain ideas were in circulation since the 7th century bce but it was varthamana mahavira who first gave the ideas a concrete shape in the 6th century bce and that's why varthamana mahavira is regarded as the founder of jainism varthamana mahavira is known as a spiritual teacher or tirthankar of the jains but he was not the first tirthankar of the jains the first tirthankar or spiritual teacher of the jains was rishabnath or adinath and varthamana mahavira was the 24th and the last tirthankar or spiritual teacher of the jains and he was the spiritual successor of the 23rd tirthankar parshana so the first tirthankar was rishabnath or adinath the 23rd tirthankar was parshanath and mahavir who was the 24th and last tirthankar of the jains he was the spiritual successor of parshanath varthamana mahavira was born in the year 540 bce at kundagrava near vaishali which is situated in the present day bihar his father was siddharth and his mother was trishala his wife was yashoda even mahavir or varthaman mahavira had a daughter also though he was a kshatriya prince belonging to the lichavi clan but he gave up all luxury and comfort at the age of 30 in search of truth he led an ascetic life and wandered from place to place in search of truth and almost in the 30th year of asceticism he gained the spiritual knowledge on the bank of river rishupalika under a shal tree and the details of the event are described in the jain uttara purana and hari vaksha purana text i repeat once again the details of this event are described in the jai uttar purana and hari vaksha purana text varthamana mahavira when he gained the spiritual knowledge after that he found full enlightenment and became a jina jina means the conqueror of self and that's why the followers of varthamana mahavira are known as the jains the word jain comes from the word jina after his spiritual awakening he became a jina jina means the conqueror of self and that's why his followers are known as the jain he attained the perfect knowledge or kaivalya and through which he conquered all the misery and happiness after gained the perfect knowledge the spiritual knowledge varthamana mahavira he spent the remaining years of his life in preaching of his religious thoughts and ideas in magad and anga His teachings led to the rapid growth and development led to the rapid spread of Jainism in different parts of India. So Varthamana Mahavira had many other names like Veer, Ativir, 
And they 
are traditionally known as the eleven Ganadharas. After the death of Parthamana Mahavira, the Jainism was divided into two different sects. Number one, Digambaras, and number two, Setambaras. Digambaras, they were sky clad. They choose not to wear clothes, and they were very strict followers of Parthamana Mahavira, and they lived a more austere life. Setambaras, they were the white clad. Every time they covered their mouth with a piece of white cloth, and that's why they are known as Setambaras. So, Digambaras and Setambaras are the two different sects of Jainism. Jainism gradually spread from the east of India to the south and to the west of India. In the 4th century BCE, it spread to the Kalinga, which is situated in the present-day Odisha. And in the 1st century BCE, it enjoyed the royal patronage of the Kalinga king Karmela. Around 1st century BCE, Jainism also reached to Tamil Nadu. And there are mainly three causes behind the rapid spread of Jainism in India. First of all, the teachings of Barthamana Mahavira were very simple and easy to follow. Number two, he taught in Prakrit language, the language known to the masses. And Jainism received the royal patronage from different kings such as Bimbisar, Ajat Satru and Chandragupta Maurya. Impact of Jainism in India The spread of Jainism in India had several consequences. First of all, the early Jains taught their doctrines in Prakrit language. And this helped in the growth, in the development of Prakrit literature and language. And secondly, Jain art and architecture also flourished under the royal patronage. For example, the Dilwara temple at Mount Jabu is the fine specimen of Jain art and architecture. The teachings of Varthamana Mahavira became known as the Jain Agams. And ultimately, Varthamana Mahavira died in the year 468 BCE at the age of 72 at Pavapuri near Rajgriha. His birth is celebrated as the Mahavira Janma Kalyanak and his Salvation or his Nirvana is observed by the Jains as Diwali. So, Vardhavana Mahavira is regarded as the founder, as the real founder of Jainism. Because he was the first who gave the Jain ideas a concrete shape in the 6th century BCE. Varthamana Mahavira is usually depicted in a sitting or standing meditative pose with a lion symbol beneath him. Each Tirthankara has a distinct emblem which allows the worshippers to distinguish similar idols. Mahavira's lion emblem is usually carved below his legs. I have given you some basic informations about Varthamana Mahavira and Jainism. I hope I have cleared my points. 
Still, if you have any doubts and suggestions, please comment me below. Thank you.